This is a continuation of last tutorial in which we created this home button here and uh, we did not code it and that's what this is going to focus on and if you're in an action script 3 document like I am um, I just made the stage the default size 550 by 400 uh, and we have some layers here so if you notice I've, I've gone ahead and done this in, for the sake of time uh, the background layer is just a primitive rectangle and it's got this drop shadow applied to it and then um, buttons I made two more buttons just like we did with a home button the content is just this text right here that you see highlighted um, that's just to let us know that we've changed uh, pages and the labels is important because we need it to talk to action script code and say hey I want to go to this frame label this frame label I like to use frame labels and some people just like to use frame numbers um, I find it when you get into a bigger document that uh, frame labels can be helpful let's go ahead and unlock the buttons the buttons we have these instance names over here on each button as I click on them look at the instance names and see that they've changed and this is also needed to talk to flash um, so let's go ahead into the code and the difference in action script 3 versus action script 2 is that action script 2 you need to put the code on to the button itself and action script 3 we go ahead and put it on a frame now so let's go into the actions and you'll notice that the stop is the first thing we do and that just tells it hey when we get to this first frame here stop don't go ahead and play and because if you do that kind of defeats the purpose so the next line is import flash events and it's telling flash to look out for mouse events such as clicks hovers and so forth this next line here um, I'll get to in a, in a little bit later and I'll describe that uh, how we get outside URLs so um, we're gonna be using action script 3 and I wanted to show you a bit of action script 2 and what the difference was I'm gonna go ahead and do the home button because we did not do it if you actually look at the test here um, I've coded out the info and the services pages and they do work I have not coded out the home because that's what we were working on and I thought it'd be nice to help you step by step as we went through so back into the actions um, let's go ahead and write the instance name first and that was home underscore btn all lowercase and then we need a period and then we need add event listener we need to say mouse event dot click is the one we want um, um, and then we need to give it a uh, function name so let's just call it home click close the parentheses close the semicolon and then enter and then we need the function so that home click function so let's just go ahead and right in underneath here so home click so make sure this and this name match exactly that is the function name and that's a very important to be matched so we need to open parentheses here uh, flash is looking for an event what type of event mouse event close the parentheses semicolon uh, we're not returning anything so go ahead and press void and then space and open a curly bracket enter return view times and close the curly bracket and up arrow and then we're gonna say this that's telling flash this home button is what I want to target and then we're gonna say go to and stop open parentheses 
quotes, I like to double it and then close your parentheses and semicolon. And then here is where we need the frame label, um, at which was home, if you remember. See the home frame labels. And I forgot to mention, to get frame labels, uh, just click in the middle of the, the frames here, and then just click on under label, under here. So type in what you want. Um, if I deleted it, press enter, it would be nothing. And if I just type home again, if I can spell correctly, enter, and there it is again. Next thing I want to show you is let's make sure you highlight the frame. Let's go back into the actions, and these are all set. So actually, let's go ahead and test out, and I'll show you that it does work indeed. So the info and services pages, and then the home page. There we go. See? and it works from every single button. And go ahead and close that out. Go back into the actions. And I want to say, okay, let's we know that services works. Let's go ahead and call Yahoo with services. So I'm going to copy. I've already written it down for the sake of time here and put it inside of commenting code so it doesn't read. I'm just going to plop it out here. And you notice some targeting services button, uh, calling it URL click, and getting Yahoo. But what we need here, it navigate to URL and then putting a URL in here. Um, there is a way around it, but for beginners, it's not recommended. So just um, this is the function that we need to get and. This is where this comes in right here. In ActionScript 3, you need to declare a variable and a function name. This is get Yahoo. This is the function get Yahoo right here. And we're saying in the variable to flash, this is a URL request. It's a new URL request. And it is going to http yahoo.com. So let's go ahead and save this. And I'm going to bring up the browser for you, Firefox here. And I'm going to show you that it actually does work. I'm going to skip that right now. OK, so we have Google here. And I'm going to show you. There's no other tabs open. I'm going to show you. It's going to be quick because I'm on a landline here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and click the services. And before I could even bring it up for you, it's got to Yahoo. So that shows it does work. I'm going to close that up. And I'm going to close that. And I'm going to open the. OK, so the differences between ActionScript 3 and ActionScript 2 uh, for the different frame labels is this. I'm going to uncomment it for you so that you can see it much easier. OK, so say we were to use the home button in ActionScript 2.0. If you're doing this in 2.0, um, this is what you would use. You would click on the home button and then bring up the actions and type this on release. Um, so that's when somebody lets go of the mouse button. You're going to go ahead and go to the home label. And then that's it. And then for getting URLs, you're also going to you know, click the button. And you're going to open the actions and say unrelease get URL. And then type in the URL here. And that's the difference. Some people find ActionScript 2.0 easier. and the advantages to ActionScript 3 is that you don't have to dig down if you have a lot of different layers and a lot of different complicated buttons. Um, you don't have to dig down into them and put actions on each object individually. You can just go ahead and write them on the frame. It's up to you how you do it, um, and that's it. So. Hope you guys like these two tutorials, and I will try to get more up as quickly as possible.
Thanks for watching and commenting.